Right. In a photoelectric effect experiment, ultraviolet light of wavelength 254 nanometer is shown onto a metal. Okay, with this work function uh, equal to 4.38 at electron volt, and electrons are emitted. Okay, when the experiment is repeated with ultraviolet light of wavelength 313 nanometer, which is a higher wavelength, uh, no electrons are emitted. Explain why no photoelectrons are emitted and give your reason. Okay, so how to prove this uh, whether electrons can be ejected or electrons cannot be ejected? Uh, you have to refer to my previous video about this uh, phenomenon of electro photoelectric effect. Okay, uh, so uh, I have uh, told you about the energy of photon. Okay. We need to find out the energy of photon, the frequency of incident photon, and the wavelength of incident photon, and compare with the work function, the threshold frequency, and the uh, threshold wavelength. Uh, so under this condition, you can know whether photoelectrons can be ejected or not, or not ejected. Okay. Uh, so um, basically, we can say uh, this is the the three ways. Okay, this is the three ways to know whether uh, the electrons can be ejected or not. You just look at the energy of O photon compared with the work function, or the threshold frequency. Uh, no, the frequency compared with the threshold frequency, or the wavelength compared with the threshold wavelength. Uh, so there are, these are the three ways you can know whether photoelectrons can be ejected. So, um, so electrons can be ejected. Okay. If the energy of incident photon is more or equal to the uh, work function, uh, work function is the minimum energy. Lah, okay, uh, we can say work function is the minimum energy required. Uh, this uh, threshold frequency is actually the minimum uh, trash minimum frequency required, and the uh, uh, threshold wavelength is the maximum threshold wavelength allowed. Okay, uh, so. Um, so what he's saying that um, the first the first wave is wavelength uh, two hundred and fifty four nanometer, okay, two hundred fifty four nanometer. Okay, he give you the work function of the metal. Uh, he said that electrons are emitted for this wavelength, but then for the other case, for the other case, uh, he used another wavelength uh, three hundred and thirteen nanometer. No electrons emitted. Uh, so why why no electrons emitted? Okay, so uh, that's uh, so for this you need to investigate their energy of incident photon, frequency of the incident photon, and the, or the wavelength of the incident photon, and compare with the work function threshold frequency or threshold wavelength. Uh, just choose either one. Okay, just choose either one. So uh, he says that uh, the first wavelength. Okay, we can take this uh, two hundred and. 54 as lambda 1 and then uh, 313 is lambda 2 uh, yeah so for lambda 1 he say electrons are emitted uh, lambda 1 is electrons emitted uh, whereas lambda 2 no electrons emitted uh, no electrons emitted so we can reason like this why uh, for lambda 1 electrons can be emitted it is because um, the energy of the photon is more or equal to the minimum energy work function uh, the frequency is more or equal to the minimum uh, threshold frequency and the wavelength is uh, less than or equal to the maximum threshold wavelength allowed. Uh, but for lambda 2, why no electrons can be emitted? Uh, because uh, it is the energy of photon is uh, less than the minimum energy required. The frequency is less than the minimum threshold frequency required. But the and the wavelength also more than the maximum, uh, more than the maximum threshold wavelength allowed. So, uh, so that's why. So, uh, but we cannot just say like that. We we need to prove by calculation. So you just choose either one. You just choose. You want to investigate the energy, or you want to investigate the frequency, or you want to investigate the wavelength. Choose either one. Okay. You must choose either one to investigate. Uh, normally, normally people will choose the energy, lah. Okay, the the usual people will choose the energy, uh, energy, okay, to compare. 
So if the energy, uh, he calculated energy of incident photon more than the minimum energy, uh, then electrons can be emitted. If the energy of incident photon not enough, uh, less than the work function, the less than the binding energy, okay, the energy of photon uh, not enough to overcome the binding energy because the incident photon energy less than the work function, less than, less than the minimum energy required, uh, then no electrons can be emitted. Uh, so uh, let us choose the first one to investigate. Yeah? Let's, uh, let us calculate the energy of photon. Okay, so energy of photon is Hc over lambda. Why we use Hc over lambda instead of the other one? Uh, you can also use Hf. Yeah, Hf. But be because the, the question gives us the wavelength, give us a wavelength uh, lambda. So that's why we use Hc over lambda instead of frequency. If the question gives you frequency, you use Hf. Lah. But the question gives you lambda, you use lambda. Okay, let us calculate. So for the first one, energy one is uh, H is 6.63 exponent uh, negative 34. Okay, exponent negative 34. And then C is 3 exponent 8. Okay, 3 exponent 8. And then lambda is, uh, lambda is uh, uh, 254. Uh, nanometer which is negative 9 uh, which is negative 9 so uh, let us calculate uh, and what do we get for this energy okay what do we get for this energy uh, I need to sorry uh, I need to look at the uh, questions yeah the answer okay let us look at the answer uh, so this is a question. All right. So the energy, the energy after you calculate for the lambda one, it is um, seven point seven point eight three uh, exponent negative nineteen joule. Ah, do you get this answer? Okay, do you get this answer? So this energy of photon is it bigger? Is it bigger or equal to the uh, threshold wavelength? Is it big? Uh, what is a threshold wavelength? Oh, threshold wavelength is given in electron volt. So this one also you have to change to joule. Uh, remember how to change to joule between electron volt and joule? Okay, I again, once again, I want to uh, emphasize again. From electron volt go to joule, we multiply by electron. From joule go back to electron volt, we divide by electron charge. Okay, so. Uh, let us first change this work function into joule so that we can compare with the same unit joule. Understand? So let us uh, uh, let us uh, so we multiply. So we multiply. Okay, electron volt. Uh, this one we multiply by uh, the uh, electron charge lah. Electron volt multiplied by electron charge, which is electron charge is one point six exponent negative nineteen. Ah, uh, so what is the what is the uh, where's the calculator? Huh? Um, let us calculate. Yeah. Okay. Um, so do we have a? So we calculate. Um, so hold on a second. Huh? Let me get the calculator. Okay. Now let us look at. Uh, look again. Uh, so I got my calculator. So it is a four point three eight. Okay. Multiply by 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, so the answer I get for this one is um, uh, so I got I got the uh, the work function is 7.008 uh, exponent negative 19 joule. Okay, so uh, compared to the energy of incident photon, energy of incident photon is 7.83 ne exponent negative 19, but work function is 7. 4008 exponent negative 19 also so what i can see is uh look at this one 7.008 this one is 7.83 so this means that this energy of photon uh this energy of photon is uh greater greater than the work function uh so that's why can eject okay that's why this uh this this uh energy of photon uh enough to overcome the minimum energy required uh, yeah, enough to overcome the minimum energy required so it can eject the electron. 
can eject the electron because the energy of photon more than the work function. Okay, so let's investigate the second wave length, lambda 2, uh, and find out what is the value of the energy of photon. Okay, so let us uh, just substitute uh, H with 6.63 exponent, uh, negative 34, and then C is uh, 3 exponent 8, right? And then uh, lambda is, um, what is lambda? Lambda is, uh, okay, 330. Uh, exponent uh, negative 9 okay meter okay I change to SI unit uh, make, make sure you change to SI unit so now uh, okay let's calculate 6.63 exponent negative 34 uh, mu uh, multiply by 3 exponent 8 okay 3 exponent 8 and then divide by uh, this uh, 313 exponent negative 9 Okay, so what do I get? Uh, what do I get? I got uh, 6.355 exponent negative 19 joule. Ah, so if I compare the value uh, 6.355, if I compare with the what? If I compare with the work function, which one bigger? So is this uh, energy of uh, photon uh, 2? Photon 2? has uh, enough energy to overcome the work function 7.008 not enough this energy of photon less than the minimum energy required work function okay uh, less than so conclusion this energy of incident photon less than the minimum energy required uh, yeah this is the minimum energy required but your photon has not enough energy to eject electron so cannot eject the electron because not enough energy yeah the energy of the incident photon less than the work function okay uh, so uh, that's it yeah that's it how to compare yeah? so how to compare uh, we need to um, uh, always uh, you need to mention this lah yeah is the energy you must mention this one energy is it more than work function or is it energy less than the work function if energy more than work function can eject electron if energy less than the work function cannot eject electron uh, explain uh, because the question asks us to explain why uh, to explain why you must show calculation show show the value of energy uh, calculate out the energy then you compare you also must calculate the work function and then you must compare between them okay uh, you must say is it more than or is it less than then only can make a conclusion whether can eject or cannot eject. So that's all for this question. Okay, see you.